Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. We will walk you through a key feature introduced in the most recent Maverick Studio release, called Gradient Lights. As you may remember, lights in Maverick used to have until now a group of options to configure gradients, in order to soften the hard edges characteristic to regular lights. This group of attributes has been superseded by a new and really powerful procedural map. With this new map, called Gradient Light, it is possible to create your own gradient shapes as lights in the scene. The easiest way to use gradient lights is to go to the lighting area in the library, where we have added a new section called Lights. As you can see, this folder is divided in subcategories, such as softboxes, circular spotlights, grids, linear gradients, umbrellas. Every single one of these lights have been created with our new procedural map. There are over 100 light shapes in the library, more than enough to illuminate your product shots with attractive and realistic reflections, in a professional way. Let's see these lights in action. We turn off all the light sources in our scene. Then, we choose a gradient light that we like, and drop it onto any of our objects. Our normal light tool gets activated automatically, for light positioning. As a reminder, the mouse and keyboard shortcuts for the normal light tool are Shift key and mouse wheel to make the light bigger or smaller. Mouse wheel to bring the light closer or further to the object. Control key and mouse wheel to adjust the light's intensity. Now, let's drop some more lights. For example, a circular spotlight and an umbrella. Let's move them around to our liking. Gradient lights in Maverick are fully HDR. This can be easily proven by taking down the exposure, and seeing how there is a high dynamic range of power information. Let's explore other ways to use gradient lights, although keep in mind that the easiest is to just drag and drop from the library as we just described. A new option has been added to the light creation pop-up menu called Create Gradient Light. Once the light has been created, we may want to activate Normal Light for comfortable light placement. Let's make this light bigger. The Attribute Editor reveals all the attributes of the active light. In the plug for Emission Color, we can get to the Gradient Light Map. Once there, we can change any of the properties of the gradient shape. Double click the thumbnail to blow the preview up. The default configuration is circular, but we can switch over to a different shape anytime. We can play around with the sliders and see the gradient update in real time. One of the most interesting options provided by this map is the ability to edit the HDR profile. This attribute is a curve editor where you can define the profile of the gradient across the selected shape. Another very interesting feature is what we call splatter. Splatter allows to clone the shape in an ring array, with a configurable number of copies, rings, diameter. Splatter also has a rectangular mode. We encourage you to experiment with all the options in this node, as it is extremely versatile, and you may reproduce virtually any light shape that you can think of. Naturally, real-time editing of attributes also works for gradients dropped from the library. Another way to create a gradient light is by creating a regular light, such as a top light. And then, after defining its position and size, going to the library and dropping a gradient light item over the light in the scene explorer. The last way to create gradient lights is to manually create a gradient light map. Once the map is created, we can drop it over a light and fine-tune its attributes to our liking. For example, let's select Linear Mirror, and change the HDR profile to a more specific curve. 
If you want to save this gradient to reuse it later in other scene, just set a name for it. And in the context menu, choose Save to Lights. The gradient will be saved in the library, in the Lights Scene folder. Let's drop this light again. Since it is already present in the scene, Maverick prompts the user whether the map must be reused, renamed, or replaced. In this case we will select Reuse. Now it's time to see some practical cases of use with real example models. You will see how easy and powerful it is to use gradient lights to illuminate a scene. Here's our first example, an electric shaver. Let's see how to create professional lighting using gradient lights to shape attractive and realistic reflections. As described earlier, the place to go is the lights area in the library. Here we must pick gradients to enhance the contours of our model. Let's begin with this softbox on the right side, to achieve a reflection with a falloff. Let's make it bigger a little bit with the mouse wheel while holding press the shift key. And then let's dim it down a bit with control key and mouse wheel. Now let's pick a linear gradient for the left border. And move it all the way to the edge. Until the model's contour is highlighted properly. Let's continue by adding some spotlights. One at the top. We resize it and place it with the mouse. Now let's add a grid at the back. We resize it until the whole back side is properly lit. Let's dim it down a little bit. Let's pick an umbrella to further enhance the model's contours. We will add a gradient with a harder falloff so light flows from the bottom to the top. As you can see, it is very easy and dynamic to achieve realistic and professional lighting. Avoiding hard edge lights that would make reflections look completely fake. As a final touch up, let's set a backplate. For example, a gradient like orange one, which matches the blue color of the appliance very well. Let's exit Normalite, and let's go to Light Mixer, to fine tune each light we added separately. Let's turn everything off, and let's turn on one light at a time, adjusting power as we see fit. Consolidate changes and we're done. We may want to go to the render panel and select final render before we save the finished shot. This is all for the first example. Our second example is a vehicle which starts with no light sources other than a simple IBL. Let's play around with gradient lights again to easily get to a much more professional looking result. Let's go to the lights area in the library. First, we pick a grid that will enhance this corner of the car. Now let's pick a softbox to cast some light on the nose of the car. Let's dim it down and place it around where we like. Let's hide the lights so they are invisible to the camera. Let's add some spotlights. One on this side. We dim it down and hide it. Another one at the back. And now a linear one for this side of the car. We lower its power and place it. The headlights of the car might make use of a circular spotlight to shine a bit. We will highlight the car plate area with a mid gradient. For the car seats, we will pick an umbrella. And here you have our pro looking lighting setup done quickly and easily. Let's enable light mixer as we may want to do some final adjustments. Let's turn everything off, and let's turn on one light at a time, adjusting power as we see fit. Consolidate changes, and go to the render panel. Set resolution and select final render with denoiser for our final shot. 
Exit Normalite and maximize the render window with Ctrl and Tab. The render is ready in seconds. Now you know how powerful and versatile the new gradient lights in Maverick are. We hope that you will make use of all this new power in your scenes. That's all for this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.